Hey, everybody. Thank you again for coming back to another episode of Build Raw uh, Tools Academy with Sparta Chris. Okay. So today I'm going to show you guys the mailing system called Mailing Boss. This is one of the uh, systems that actually is included in pretty much most of the uh, plans that you have with Build Raw, which allows you to have a mailing system so you don't have to go for an outside agency. And we already spoke about this. You know, okay, mailing systems from outside agencies can cost you a lot of money. So remember, mailing boss is included in any of the plans that you have with, with Build Raw so you can use it to email your clients, okay? So get ready. We're going to go through this in four, three, two, one. So here we are back in our back, uh, dashboard, our uh, Build Raw back office. And over here, I'm going to go over, um, basically, like I said, you have all the tools right here. So under the email marketing is the drag and drop email marketing automatic automation mailing boss. So we're going to enter it right here. So when you come in, again, if you are just starting with Build Raw, this will be blank. Um, I'm using one of my demos, so I've been doing a lot of, um, demos on this. So you'll have your subscribers, your list, campaign, workflow, and I'm going to go over most of them with you. Now, again, to uh, keep this tutorial brief and short, I try to keep it 30 minutes. Um, so I'm not going to go deep down into every single option. Um, Build Raw offer amazing training in terms of tutorial on mailing boss and everything like that. So when you become a member, um, you, uh, you'll be able to go under training and basically you'll be able to see in terms of platform training right here where you have access to all the training in terms of mailing boss and everything like that as well, okay? So um, it's very simple and easy. You know, you have all those and everything like that in terms of email, whereas the email marketing, you know, mailing box workflow, for, for um, you know, all that good stuff. So, but for now, we are going to keep it in terms of basic. So when you come in on the left side, you have the menu. So you have the dashboard right here. Um, the list in terms of the, um, the list, that you build with mailing boss so um and then you have the tools campaign and send message template so let's go over a couple of things real quick so when you come in let's say okay you have your opt-in page so you want to create a new list so just for purpose of this exercise i am going to go to my cheetah builder and remember the demo that we did the other day i'm going to pull it up Tools Academy, edit site, edit page. So while this is loading up, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can do using Mailing Boss. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a new subscribers list right here. So let's say um, Demo Tools Academy. Um, so let's do the same for the display name and the description. This is a demo for Tools Academy. Okay, so we're going to hit continue. Now, the name will be the name for internal, so for you to see. The display name will be the name that when you send an email to um, to your clients, it will show that. So you, for the display name, that's where you want to but in terms of if it's your business name, you know, something like that, for example. Um, the description, that is fine. That's for you to, um, for something for your subscriber that will easily recognize. And then the opt-in, it will always be double opt-in. So double opt-in means that they have to go to their email to confirm that they want to receive emails from you. That's how, that's one of the best thing I love about Mailing Boss is that because you're making sure, number one, that the, um, the subscribers are real subscribers, okay, that they want your business. Number two, to make sure that the list is true and accurate. So like that it doesn't bounce to a, um, bad emails or anything like that, which is better for you as well. So to weed out those um, who you, uh, you don't want um, their businesses because they are giving you bogus information, okay? 
So double opt-in. The opt-out, for me, I like to do single opt-out because if they don't want to receive any information from you, then let them do it by one, by just clicking and that's it. They don't have to go back to their email to um, click another link to confirm that they don't want to receive any emails from me, okay? Now, the tags, this is where you can put tags in terms of to, um, so let's say, okay, if you're selling something, you can put a tag uh, for this list in terms of who bought that item. So in terms of, for me, I like to use the tags when I do a contest for my LYD vacation company, where I give out um, free vacations. So I put winner under the tags here and anybody um, that opt-ins basically in terms of for the tag, I have them on the winner. And then another tag I could have would be in terms of by the date. So like that would by the vacation theme. So if it was for Valentine's, Mother's Day, you know, stuff like that, for example. So we're gonna click on next. Okay, so now here under the list custom fields. So you can add different fields that you're going to request from your client. So let's go back to beta real quick. Um, let me take out uh, this. Let me take out some stuff real quick. Because what I'm going to do, take this out, and then I'm going to go add element, email marketing form, and I'm going to add this one right here. So basically, it's asking me, okay, uh, since I didn't save it yet, we're going to hit cancel because let me finish this and then I'll save it. Okay. So here we want to get the email from the person. Let's say the first name, the GDPR. Um, if you are not, um, in Europe, you know already about G GDPR in terms of you can add a GDPR in terms of where they have to agree with a term of use of privacy, terms of website use, privacy policy, disclaimer, so you can customize each of them in terms of what you want to add and everything like that. You can also add more custom fields. So if you want to add a, a special text, let's say in terms of uh, right here, in terms of uh, name of your favorite color, okay? And then here I'm going to put color. And then is it required? You can have a yes or no. Um, if you put it as yes, they cannot hit submit on the form unless they put the color. If you put it no, they can leave it blank. It's up to you. So you can use it where if you're asking us question or, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put it yes for now. And then uh, visible, you want to, is it hidden or visible? So you want to keep it visible so they can see the name of the field. And then the sort order. So as you can see, I have right now email as zero. So I'm going to put uh, this one as one. And then most likely the name, I'll come back to put the name as two. So if I go and click save changes, this comes back to the demo tools form successfully saved. But the, where I was, it was under fields. So I'm gonna click on fields. So email zero. Um, first name, let's put it as two. And then favorite color as one. So if I hit save, zero, one, two, right there. So it'll ask for the email, favorite color, and first name. So obviously if you want, I want to change it, I want to do, let's say, um, put this as, let's say, zero, and then the email will be one, and then the favorite color will be two. And if I hit save, it rearranges everything. Now, remember, the list is called Demo Tools Academy. Now that I have it saved, I can actually go to my my form, my opt-in form that I've used on the Cheetah. And I did already the Tools Academy on Cheetah. So you can go and look at the video from yesterday. But um, where was I? 
email marketing. Let's add it right here. Let me give it a second to load. And if I go all the way up top, Demo Tools Academy right there. So hit save. So there you go. So let me take out this real quick, all this clutter so you guys can see right here, okay? All right, so you have first name, email, favorite color, right? So remember what we said, first name, email, favorite color. So people have to actually fill out those and then click um, next on my button. So again, you can customize the button by going to general setting. Um, I'm sorry, not general setting. Um, go down to headline right here under my text. Click here, or if you want to do click, oh, click here now. So something like that, for example. Okay, so now go back to this. Um, actually, and let's do this. Let's hit. That's fine. Close. And I'm going to publish this. Save and exit. So let's publish this. Click OK. All right, so like that, uh, let's go to website. It's right here. So let's do Chris uh, te uh, test at um, toolsacademy.com, for example. And what's my favorite color? Now, if I click next, please check the required field. Remember, we did favorite color as required, and you see it's in red right here. Okay, so put red. Click next. Okay, so here you go. So please check your email in order to confirm your subscription text. Okay, so again, in order to confirm. So now, if I go here. Back to my Tools Academy. Let me move my Zoom thing here. And I go back to my list again. Subscriber shows one here. See this, you have, you can edit right here. You can look at the subscriber. You can go to the email page configuration. I'll go over those real quick with you guys. So first thing first, um, let's look at the subscriber. And as you can see, Chris, QTestToolsAcademy.com, and the favorite color, red right here. So you, this is how you can get or start building your email list for your subscribers, for your clients, your customers, you know, and everything like that, for example. Okay. So you can remember, the you can add so many fields. So let's say if I go back to the fields and... I want to take out um, the text field for their favorite color. Click OK. And I want to add a drop down field. Let's say this will be um, 0, 1, 2. So it will be 2. Um, uh, choose your favorite color. Required, yes. Color. And then right here for the drop down, you can put red. Value one. Blue. Value one. Value two. Um. Purple, aye. Purple, three, and let's add one more. Yellow, four, okay? So if I hit save, so one, two, three, okay. So now I have it saved. So if I go back to Cheetah, 
edit this again. And then what I'm going to do, is click on here, uh, the gear icon box, relink it to the Demo Tools Academy, hit save, there you go. So now again, you have name and then you have the drop down. So if I hit save, that's fine. Let's go to the site, choose the option. So here for choose the option, go back to mailing box. Okay, so let's say ta, 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 help text. We can put choose your favorite color, hit save. Um, go back to here. I think I have to relink it again. Yeah, I have to relink it again. Close here. Boom, boom. Save. Save. And go to website. Okay, see right here? Choose your favorite color right there. And you can put it in white, whatever color you want and everything like that, which is fine under the settings, um, under the settings right here in terms of background. But what I want to show you guys is now test, uh, let's say, um, test robot Gmail and then see red, blue, purple, yellow. Okay. And then click here. To go to the next. So now if I go and look at, click on subscribers right here, it'll be two and I have both of them right here. Okay, so choose your favorite color. Remember we did the actual, for the field, we did the values in terms of one, two, three, and four, okay? I could put the values, for example, in terms of the actual, actual name, so like that, you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to see um, the next person will subscribe, you'll be able to see the actual value will be the actual color and stuff like that, okay? So that's the best thing about this. All right, now let's go over um, so let me see, uh, segments, uh, you don't need to worry about segments. That's events. Um, I just want to show you the basic stuff, but you can go to the builder all, um, um, like I said, the builder all training, and then you can learn about the events for segmenting and everything like that. Um, let's see for fields, we went over that pages. Okay. So on the pages you have basically in terms of what the clients will see, after this submit. So remember, um, where is it? Remember after we submitted it, this came up, right? So those are the pages that we're talking about. So the subscribe form, okay? So list name, list subjects, submit button, don't worry about the subscribe form. That's for the actual form itself on the page. Um, the pending subscribe will be what you will see. So what? That's what we saw right. Um, we saw right here. Please check your email address. See right there. So you can put. You can edit this. Please check your email address in order to confirm your submission to my um, Tools Academy tutorial. tutorial page, for example, okay? Um, and then we can hit save and next, okay? So if I go back to this, hit refresh, here you go. 
to my um, my Tools Academy tutorial page. Thanks. And again, you can customize them. Where is it? You can customize them and everything. The next thing is the pending subscribe. So please check your email address in order to confirm to my Tools Academy. That's what we had. So click Save and Next. Uh, let's go back to pages. Da, 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 da. Subscription confirmed. So when the person goes to their email and confirms, this is um, they click the link to confirm. This is what will come up. So this is where you want to put, let's say, for example, the link to your offer, for example, or if you were giving, let's say, a discount code, you know, or something like that, uh, if for them to opt into your form. So this is where you put, you edit it and put everything. So real quick to edit, to put everything in there. So you can add, for example, uh, a, um, let's see, an image on top right here. You could customize it where you could have, uh, let's see, a two image blocks, two text blocks, two buttons, text with, um, with left image. So for example, text or left image would be like this. So I could take this right here and put it here like this, for example, okay? Um, the image, easy, you can um, click on it, load the image right here. And then you can select uh, ta -ta 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 -ta, backup plus miscellaneous pictures, you can select an image, you can select an image, for example, like that. Um, you can select the size. So if you wanna do, let's say maybe um, 200 like this, or you know, uh, 400 like this, for example, okay? So that's, a, a, um, that's something you can use, for example, in terms of if you have a, company, a, let, a header, you know, for a company header, you can put it on there, for example, easily. Um, so you are able to add, customize everything right here. So I'm not going to go over everything in detail, but you can do so many things, timer, you know, and everything like that as well. Again, going to the build um, build world actual training for this, um, for Mailing Boss, they'll go over the, all this in detail. Um, so save next. Um, let's go back to page. Okay, so now emails. So remember, I told you, you um, people will receive an email for them to confirm subscription, right? So this is the email, the first email they receive. Please click clear in order to confirm your subscription on the list. The list name is remember the name that you gave right here under the display name right here. Okay, so that will be the list name. Okay. So, um, so again, you can emb embellish this with adding images, you know, all this stuff, you know, everything like that, which is fine, okay? So th that's for subscription list. Unsubscribe comes from email. Um, welcome email will be the first email you, um, that automatically gets sent to everybody that clicks on it. So for example, you can, this is where you'll um, introduce yourself or say thank you. If it's like a, a blank, coupon that you're giving for your business or, um, you know, uh, a welcome letter, you know, something like that. You want to be sent to everybody. You can do it like that. Or another way you can do it is doing it by uh, autoresponder sequence. Okay. Now, under campaign right here, email sequence, you can create a new email sequence. Okay. Basically, in terms of email sequences, the minute someone opts in into your form, basically there can be an email sequence, a set of emails from two, three, four, 25, 30 emails throughout a month, throughout a week, whatever the case may be that you can be sending to your clients or customer. So click create new. And basically, again, same thing, uh, Tools Academy demo. Um, we're going to choose the list right here. Now, see it says zero on the list, right? Because I have not confirmed, remember it's double opt-in. I have not confirmed my emails yet, okay? So if I go here, let me do this so I can show you guys. Um, go to website 
And I'm going to put my, my information. And then let me do this real quick. So let me see here. Give me one second. Okay, there we go. So as you can see right there, it came from Chris at Live Your Dream Inc., which is my email that I already um, attached to Mailing Boss. Let me close these. Attached to Mailing Boss. And the way you attach your email to Mailing Boss is in terms of sender's email right here. And then basically that's where you go and you'll create a new, and then basically it'll send you to an email to verify. You click on the link to verify. Now you can um, send an email to those right there. So as you can see right here, if I click here in order to confirm, it brings me to that subscription confirm page. And then I should be able, see right there, remember? The subscription page we spoke that we did, we played around with. So now I should be able to see it if I go under my campaign email sequence and let's create a new. Uh, we say it was going to be demo training. How am I? Uh, tools training academy. Demo sequence. Choose the list. Now it shows one subscriber. Okay. So uh, segment, like I said, don't worry about the segment for now. You can. That's advanced training. You can see it. Um, you know, down the road. So that's fine. Um, send to future subscribers only, or send to current and future subscriber. So I'm gonna do send to future subscribers only for now. Okay. Um, so again, uh, that's assuming you don't have any, you're starting your sequence in the beginning, you don't have any subscribers yet. So that's what I'm doing, send to first your subscribers. So save and edit sequence. And again, it's all about just like doing, like we said before, in terms of if you want to add an image, if you want to add a, a title heading, if you want to do um, two images by two images. So that can be in terms of, the image. So for the campaign name, first email. Um, so I'm going to put, call this email one. And then I'm going to say, welcome to Tools Academy demo. Okay. So on the left side, you have the menu. So again, Welcome Tools Academy demo. So the minute you stop this and you click outside, it automatically ups this here. If you click on the days, this comes up. So send to future subscribers only or current and future. Activate now. So it's 132. That's fine. Um, auto is after subscribe. So once basically, this is telling once the person goes in and subscribe, do I want to wait, let's say, zero days to send the email? Or do I want to wait one day to send the email? Or do I want to wait one hour, one minute? You can select whatever option you want, which is amazing, 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 okay? Because let's say, okay, you want to have a delay um, before the person receives the email after they um, subscribe, you know? Or you never, um, depending on your situation, so for me, since it's a welcome, I like to do zero and I like to do, uh, what is it, zero day. So automatically it'll go out that day um, or you can do um, one minute, you know, so like that, that's fine, okay? So hit save. And then if you want to add another email, you click add another email right here. So this one, I'm going to call it email number two. And let's say day two follow-up. 
you know, something like that. Same thing again, I can put a heading, I can put, you know, something like this, for example. Um, let's take out this, you know, something like this, for example, okay? So day two follow up like that, same thing right here. So I wanna do, send this on day two. So I wanna do one day. So basically this is saying, after this subscribe, wait one day before sending the email, okay? So be very careful when you do this. Make sure you understand the logic behind this. So after this subscribe, yesterday was zero days. So on the same day, they will see that email. Then wait one day before you send an email or wait two days before you send an email. So, you know, so since it's day two, doing it like that, okay? So now all we got to do is click activate and activate. And then you can click on done. So here you go. So it shows me also for the list, I have two emails, one minute, and then one day. Then it shows three subscribers, but only one confirmed, okay? You have two unconfirmed subscribers, you know, very simple to follow and everything like that, okay? So that's how it's set up. So now, if I go back again, let's say I go to my list, And I click on the subscribers button. And let's say I want to, let me take this out. I'm going to delete the one with my email. And then let me do this um, webmail. Let me do this real quick. Okay, so let me do this real quick. I'll use this one instead. Um, go back to go to website. Chris uh, doesn't matter. Blue and click next. So go to my email, give it a second. Because what I wanna show you guys is in terms of when you receive the email, in terms of how, um, where it's going, oh, in terms of where you are going to um, see the email sent out from the autoresponder and everything like that. So that's what I wanna show you guys, okay? Here you go. Please come from your subscription. Click here on the link. I confirmed it, right? Everything good. So now let me go back. So here we go. Welcome to Tools Academy right here a minute ago. See this? Perfect. So again, uh, if I want to display you know, images just like Gmail does it or Yahoo does it. You can do it like that. That's fine as well. So in a nutshell, guys, this is how um, the mailing boss is set up, you know, a brief overview. And again, when you sign up with Builderall, so I'm just going to show you something real quick. Live your so if you go to liveyourdreaminfo.com, it is my affiliate link for Builderall. So over there, you'll be able to see, let me close some of those, some of those. I got too many things open. Leave. Uh, close this, close the beta. Okay. So when you go to liveyourdreaminfo.com, which is my affiliate site with BuildRoll. So if you like me, you like my tutoring, um, I, you know, I have a group. Um, LYD Builder World group on Facebook where I do training as well for you guys and, and everybody on my team we get together and basically do Zoom meetings, conference calls and everything like that. But um, so if you go here and you click on the plans so just to show you the different plans and what's included in terms of mailing boss in terms of the plan, right? So the first one is a free plan, okay? You don't get 
any domain. So that means you cannot attach your own website like this to it, okay? It's going to be a build roll um, domain, basic domain. Um, then you, you have 100 subscribers. So what I mean by 100 subscribers is you can only have in your opt-in list 100 subscribers only, okay? You still get ticket and support, and you get one gig with this, this space as well. Under the builder is you can get three domains, still 100 subscribers, ticketing and live chat support, and two gig this space. So if you're brand new starting um, in terms of, you know, you're not working and building your list, it's basically um, something uh, for an opt-in you're doing for something quick, then this um, plan will be the better plan for you. It's just $19.90 a month, you know, and that's it. So you get Cheetah, you get the... Um, the Cheetah Funnel Builder, unlimited subdomains, you know, so on and so forth and everything like that. You can see all those that's included all the way um, all the way down here. Then if you are a marketer, then you can get, um, so more advanced is the five domain, 5,000 subscribers right here, okay? Um, Tickety Live, Chat Support, 5 gig, you know, so you get all these plus also the CRM, the Telegram um, automated tool, and SMS. Now, remember I told you, for all the tools, as you kept going up and up, you get more stuff. So 10 domains, 15 subscribers, 10 gigs. And with the gigs, if especially the images, you know, in terms of um, adding images that you want on your server, on your cloud server, so that's where those gigs come into play. OK, so um, so all the way down, you know, and everything like that. Now, me personally, I have the premium plan, which is all the tools included. I get unlimited subscribers as well. OK, ticketing live to list import funnel club. So we, you get actually access to all the funnels already that you know, templates that I've created. All you got to do is plug and play, you know, plug and, um, you know, promo. That's it. So you have access to the Funnel Club, which is an amazing value. Um, but you get access to everything right here, okay? So that's, and I've been with Build Run now since 2017. I've been doing this, and this is the best thing that ever happened to me. Um, it helped me increase my performance for all my businesses in terms of also promoting Build Raw as a um, business opportunity allows me also to make money as well, which you can do as well um, as an affiliate. So all you got to do is get, go to liveyourdreaminfo.com and you can become a free affiliate right there as well, which is fine, okay? Um, so you don't have to have the tools to become a free affiliate. So you can just go to liveyourdreaminfo.com click on affiliate, and then basically you can have access to it. So this is my, so let me stop sharing. So this is my overview of mailing, mailing boss. I try to keep it short, less um, below 40 minutes. Um, so like that, you guys don't get too bored, okay? But there's so many things that you guys can do with the um, builder all um, mailing boss system that basically the imagination is all up to you. So this is Spotter Chris. Thank you for joining me again. I wish you have a wonderful, blessed day. Stay safe and healthy. Take care, guys.